Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Tenova Healthcare, Physicians Regional Medical Center, Turkey Creek Medical Center, North Knoxville Medical Center, Jefferson Memorial Hospital, La Follette Medical Center, Newport Medical Center. Regardless of what health issues you're having, you will get the same top quality care from all of Tenova's East Tennessee locations. And they've got even more uh, smaller locations uh, and clinics than the ones I just mentioned. Tenova Healthcare, Tenova.com. All right, in this segment, I want to take a look at Tennessee's resume. We did this last week. Here's how it's changed. Overall record, they're now 20 and 12. That Tusculum win doesn't count, so they're not 21 and 12. They're 20 and 12 in the eyes of the committee. They finished up 12 and 8 in the SEC if you count the tournament games. RPI went up yesterday after the Florida loss. As of 11 o'clock last night, their RPI was 42. Strength of schedule up to 22, which really helps them out. Non conference record, 8 and 4, not spectacular. Road record, 4 and 7, better than last year, I think. The, the one to be concerned with, if there's a negative knock on Tennessee's resume, it's that, one to, that, that t RPI 1 through 50. Tennessee just 2 and 6 in that, in that area uh, against one, t 1 through 50 teams. 51 through 100, they're 5 and 3. 101 through 200, they're 10 and 3. 4 and 0 against 200 plus teams. That is Tennessee's resume. Uh, if there's anything to be concerned about, as I say, I think it's that top 50 wins number. Uh, my question as we start to look at this, is Tennessee a lock at this point? Many people have moved them all the way into lock status, that they are not only an 11 seed, but kind of one of the higher 11 seeds. Um, do you think they're a lock? No, no. To me, a lock is a top four seed in each reach, I mean, in each bracket. And I don't think Tennessee is in that, in that range. You're still in the discussion. No, I think a lock is one of the top four seeds in each region. Tennessee is not that. I like the fact that Bob is pulling a Chuck. <laughs> I disagree with uh, yeah. Chuck. I think Tennessee's a lock. I don't. I don't think the top four seed. I'm not sure. I'm disagreeing with your definition of a lock. Okay. I think Tennessee's in. Okay. I don't think there's any doubt. Well, I think in. they're so in. I, think they're I just a don't lock. think they're a lock. lock. Oh, okay. they're a lock to get in. No, well, you think they're in, but they're not a lock. I got you. You still think there's a chance they might not get in? I, I, I so you're saying sleep. there's a chance. So you're saying <laughs> they're, they're, they're definitely in. They're in. They're in. There's without a doubt with that strength of schedule, and especially people say the eye test doesn't matter. If you've watched this basketball yes. team play, the people on the committee, that if they're doing their job, they have to watch the team play. They've watched this team play the three, last three weeks. They're in. May I be the nattering nabob of yes. negativism? Negativism. <laughs> you are a nabob. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> nabob behind. I'll tell you a number that, that worries me, along with the versus top 50 number, is the versus 100 to 200 number. You have more losses to the 100 to 200 teams than you've got wins over the top 50 teams. And to me, that makes it a little bit more worrisome. I don't, I don't think they're a lock. I don't think they're in the top four in the regions or whatever <laughs> it was you were talking about. I just, I think Tennessee is still squarely on the bubble. I think the decision will come this afternoon when everything's said and done. I think what helps them, and it's the reason I asked the question earlier, the, the teams playing today in the, in the uh, conference right. we'll, tournament, and we'll show that the next they're time. all in. Yeah. So Tennessee doesn't have to worry about somebody else stealing a spot. But there, I do not think they're a lot. There are no, there are no bid four. thieves today playing. <laughs> Here's the reason I'm not as concerned about the top 50 RPI deal. And it, it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yep. Who did they lose to? Florida three times. Couldn't beat them at home road or State. neutral. Yep. Wichita That's State. four of the losses. And Kentucky is still a top 25 team. So, so four of those losses were to teams that will be number one seeds. So I don't think that hurts them as much in their top 50 RPI as the record would indicate mm -hmm. if you're on the selection committee and you're doing your research and you say, oh, well, yeah. here's the reason why. Well, and I think that's the only, literally, when you're looking at the resume, that's the only thing that would stand out to me right. uh, is, is that top 50 thing. Uh, you, if you're looking for a reason to fret, that would be, <laughs> if the NCAA, mm -hmm. if, you, if we're here shocked tonight at 7 o'clock, or I guess we'll be wherever we are. Uh, it's seven o'clock, and we're shocked. Chuck will have a shot. We're going to look back. <laughs> we're going to look back and see. I uh, bet it's that top fifty thing. Um, you got to give uh, credit to some of Tennessee's uh, opponents that beat them earlier. UTEP wound up a twenty-game winner. Still terrible RPI, but wound up twenty-game winner. NC State had a great close mm -hmm. to their season. Virginia obviously took off. The 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 Xavier. Th this whole yeah Xavier. This whole season though. Mm -hmm turned on those Texas A&M losses. If you beat Texas A&M just once, yeah. you're in the three seed in the SEC, as you were pr predicted before the season. You're playing Kentucky yesterday instead of Florida. Right. If you just beat Texas A&M once, you, you, this whole season winds down to 
one Texas A&M game. You win it, everything's better. You might well, even be a lock in the Chuck stand. Yes, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well, and also to your point about being in that room on Selection Sunday yes, is, very quickly. as you're watching the bracket come out, the whole time you're thinking about last year was that Georgia loss, that one loss that could have gotten you over that hump. And every team that you know is a bubble team, you see their name called and every bracket going through, your stomach's getting closer and closer to your toes thinking, gosh, are we really not going to be in? And so, I mean, it's, it's a nerve wracking every, every 11, 10, 12 seed that comes up there. Um, it gets it gets you. You were going. Let me thank you for answering that. You jumped ahead of me, which was perfect. I needed that. Uh, you you need to be. You're in the you're in the right field, Mark. You can do this TV thing. Um, the uh, other thing I was going to ask you last year, you were in the room. Tennessee doesn't get in. You're talking about stomach dropping as you see those guys come off the line, uh, off the bracket. How uh, how bad is it when that whole bracket's revealed and you're not in? Well, last year was different than the first year. I've been in the NCAA tournament even in my playing days. So the two years ago was the first time it happened to me. The first year, because of where expectation was, getting the NIT, tur NIT tournament, it was still all right. You know, we're playing postseason. It's okay. It's not that the end of the world. Last year, I, the coaches even had to take a step back and go into a room and talk about, all right, how do we address these guys yeah. and get these guys ready for the NIT the second year in a row? And we really thought we had done enough to get in the tournament. Um, so it, it's a terrible feeling. Um, you just keep analyzing that one game, that one game, if we only would have done, you know, whatever. Yeah, by the way, that Texas A&M game here, who was one of the referees? Pat Adams. There you go. <laughs> That's all I can say. Chuck got it out for him. <laughs> <laughs> you can the tell who the fan is. He was the one calling the illegal screens. <laughs> Pat <right>. Adams. <laughs> Gosh. All right. When uh, the just Sports see. Source continues, grab your pen and paper. We're going to go through some serious math. Uh, it's a formula. You're going to sit there for the first five minutes saying, What's he talking about? At the end of this, you're going to look at it and say, dang, I could have made a lot of money in Vegas. <laughs> Come on back on the sports source.